Now let's learn about STLC software testing life cycle. So we had learned in the last topic in SDLC that testing is a phase after coding and implementation. So in this phase, it has its own sub phases. So we learn about that. The software testing life cycle in itself has its own phases. The first step is requirement review or analyzing the requirements so the testing team can plan their own testing methodologies and what all tools they are going to use and who all are going to do the testing and plan their entire testing steps so based on the requirements once the requirements are reviewed and once the scope of testing is decided the next phase come which is test planning Test planning is majorly about creating a document which is called test plan. This document contains different steps which includes scope of testing, timeline of testing, tools which will be used during the testing, teammates who all are going to work and what their roles will be, what lifecycle models will be followed, what are the milestones that will be followed, what will be the test deliverables which all documents will be delivered as a part of the testing activities which will be followed. Example, requirement traceability matrix, test case document, test report or any. After the test planning is complete, there will be test designing. So test designing is one of the most important phases in testing. Here we'll be creating the test cases. These test cases can be manual test cases or automation test cases. So this is the most important step as I said. It will include creation of test cases in any tool. If your company is using some test management tools like TestRail, Jira, Azure DevOps, any testing tool, test management tool can be used for test designing. The test cases will be designed here, will be written and then it will be executed later on. So. In the entire STLC, the two major phases which consumes your most of the time are test designing and test execution phases. So as testers, you'll be spending your most of the time in these two phases. So once the test designing is complete, the test cases are ready, then the next step come, which is test environment setup. The test environment setup means preparing your environment test environment for executing the test cases so here the hardware and the software requirements are set up so that the test cases which has been written in the previous phase will be executed now so let's say you have written or you're working for a car dashboard software now your test execution environment has to be simulated as a car dashboard software so you need to have all requirement hardware and software ready for executing the test cases. Similarly, if you have written a you know, test case for mobile application, so you have to execute the test cases. You need to have all the hardware requirements set up on all the different versions of the environment, you know, where, which was version of software you're going to test. Then comes the test execution phase, wherein we will be rerunning the test cases which we had written in the previous test designing phase here we have to make sure that all the test cases which have been written are executed well this execution phase will lead us to a result which is either pass or fail so if all the test cases are passing it will be a successful execution without any bugs which is not the ideal scenario, which doesn't happen usually. So if the test cases are failing, if any of the test case is failing, we need to raise a relevant bug associated with that test case. So we'll talk about bug and bug management. How do we raise a bug later on in this course? But here let's focus and understand what test execution is. So the test cases which had been written will be executed and will come up with a result set of pass or fail status. Now, once this execution has been done, we'll do a reporting. So the test reporting needs to be done, wherein we'll be mentioning the number of test cases which are passed, which are fail, which haven't been executed because of some issues. Maybe there is environment issue, 
there is hardware issue there is software issue due to which the test cases couldn't be executed so they all needs to be reported well if we have written automation test cases then we need to execute them as well and come up with the result set of automation how many test cases passed how many test cases failed so we have to properly report and submit it to our managers or the product owners or the stakeholders so that they have an idea what is the current testing status so combining all these phases we come to an end of stlc where it starts with requirement review test planning test designing environment setup test case execution and finally test reporting thank you